2023 was a banner year in the swordfish business. 1,900 tons caught, nearly a third off Newfoundland, much of it by fishing boats from Nova Scotia. A rapid shift from the previous decade when the entire Canadian catch was off Nova Scotia. I think what's really interesting when we look at the data from Newfoundland is that for every, say, 1,000 hooks, we're seeing many more fish and we're seeing larger fish. What's not clear is if it's the result of a warming ocean or a cyclical and temporary event. Swordfish were caught in Newfoundland years ago. We suspect the fish have always been on the Grand Banks. Um, just that, you know, it makes no sense to steam four days and have the extra expense if you can fish in your own backyard, so to speak. The shift has coincided with a collapse in landings in the harpoon fishery off southern Nova Scotia over the last three years. The fishery relies on the fact swordfish normally surface during the day. One question is whether they are basking less because of warming temperatures below the surface. Scientist Kyle Gillespie not sure why this is happening. It's, it's really unclear if this is kind of a, a new normal due to climate change. Um, or whether that biomass is, is going to shift back again south, as we think it did historically. Um, so, so this is something that we're trying to figure out. Gillespie tried to attach satellite tags on swordfish off Nova Scotia last year to track their movements, but could not find a single fish on the surface. Itself remarkable. This year, the tagging operation will move to Newfoundland. Paul Withers, CBC News, Halifax.